Before we jump into today's video, please support my channel by subscribing below. Thank you so much. State House is the official residence of the President of Kenya. It was the Prime Minister's residence from independence until 12 December 1964 when Kenya became a republic. As the Prime Minister's position was abolished, it has been the official residence of the President ever since. Before the construction of Government House in Nairobi, the first governor's residence was at Government House, Mombasa, constructed in 1879. Government House in Nairobi, now State House, was built in 1907 in Nairobi to serve as the official residence of the governor of British East Africa, when Kenya was a colony with the British Empire. The governor will conduct his official functions at the old provincial commissioner's office, next to Nyayo House and then retired to government houses for the day. It was designed by the British architect Sir Herbert Baker. After independence, government house was renamed State House. Although it remained the official residence of the head of state, in practice it became an administrative or operational office occasionally providing accommodation to visiting state guests and reception on national days. This scenario has prevailed to date with the late Mze Jomo Kenyatta and President Moi preferring private residences as opposed to living in state house. State house in Nairobi stands on a three square kilometer piece of land. State house was designed by British architect called Herbert Barker, who was the fourth child of British farmer Thomas Henry Barker. He borrowed ideas from other cities like Washington DC, Paris, Cape Town, and New Delhi to design Nairobi. His other iconic designs include Kenya Railways, the High Court Building, now the Supreme Court of Kenya. He also takes credit for designing structures in South Africa such as Union Building in Pretoria, St. Andrews College, St. John's College, and Grahamstown. Mze Jomo Kenyatta did not reside at the State House but instead preferred to stay in his Gatundu and Nairobi home. He only used the State House to transact official business during the day. This is because he feared that the building had ghosts of white settlers which he feared would harm him if he sleeps there and the croaking sound of frogs around the State House made sleeping there uncomfortable for him. The house, which is more than a century old, was built on a hill because the white settlers loved trees and white boulevards and also feared floods. Therefore, Sir Herbert Barker, who was contracted to design the building, chose the hilly area around a boretum that offered stunning views. Thank you so much for watching and for listening. Don't forget to subscribe below. Thank you so much. Adios.